Palm Springs. Yay! Palm Springs. We just got some food. I'm here with Carly and Alexis. We got probably the best mojito in the freaking world. Best one ever. Honestly. If you're ever in Palm Springs, I don't know what the name of this hotel is. Renaissance. Renaissance. Yes. Best mojito. Oh my gosh. We're gonna eat. I haven't eaten all day. Very excited. And we'll catch you guys later. That's it. There she goes. Is she gonna bring people back? I know. Good thing she's wearing like a standout outfit that I can actually track her down with. Look at her go. She's doing great, handing out those flyers, getting those people. Looks like she's hunting. I know. Like I'm losing her. <laughs> Gotta zoom. Oh no. She's she's making her way. Oh no, I lost her. Oh no. She's in. <laughs> she's officially in. <laughs> Palm Springs. Yay! I cannot see if you're in this or not, but yay! like half my head. Yeah, we're passing out flyers and by we I mean they are <laughs> and I'm just here because I can't talk to people. So love that. We passed them out at the hotel. We've gotten one solid person that's probably gonna show up to the panel we're doing tomorrow, which I don't think I've even mentioned I'm doing a panel tomorrow because I honestly forgot that I was doing it. But doing that with Mob Beauty, who is apparently like a clean, sustainable makeup brand out here, which is kind of random, but kind of fun. So they're supposedly making like cool palettes that like match the collections of each designer. So we'll see how that works out. I'm excited, intrigued. We've got some fun pastels in my collection, so I hope it's like a cute little like springy, springy vibe, but we don't know. Anyway, enjoy this scenery. The wow, <laughs> the trash can. That's the prettiest trash can I've ever seen. <laughs> so cute. Looking on my desert glow. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that's lit. Isn't that so cute? Yeah. We're at Sephora. They're gonna be handing out flyers and I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> Super cute. That is so cute. Downtown Palm Springs, so nice. Heck yeah. Good morning guys, we are in Joshua Tree now. Yesterday we ended up just getting flyers, picking up everybody from the airport. We made it to the house. This is where we're staying. We've got four beds here, which is super cute. And I'll show you guys the outside, it's so freaking cute. We're having our coffee right now. This is the outdoors, how freaking cute is this? I hope I didn't lock us out, but. <laughs> yeah, Dwayne's on a Zoom call. So yeah, I was like, I don't know. I think it's not actually fully closed, but we're out here playing tic-tac-toe. Tic We've got our morning coffee. How freaking cute is that? Love it. And by we, I mean Alexis is here too. <laughs> it's not just me, but. Get ready with us. Yeah, get ready with us. I think that's the look for today. Outfit of the day. I'm wearing myself, and so is everyone else. <laughs> We've got Alexis with the patchwork tank. Super cute, super cute. <laughs> I've got the baby tee on. Very fun, very fun. We've got Alexis, I'm making you come here. I mean, oh my god, yeah, I'm like Alexis right like, here. We've got that. Carly over here. She's got the pink floor top. We're like low key very matching winning. because we've got like the shorts and everything. <laughs> it's super fun, super cute. Love it. Kristen, come on in. Do my She's hair. got the burgundy rose top from last year. Very cute, very cute. Those are the fits for today. Thanks for coming to the show. Hi guys, okay, so we are here at the mall. 
Mob Labs. They're Mob Beauty. They're like a clean, fun, sustainable beauty brand. And they're partnering with us for the show tomorrow. We're here at the Labs today. We're gonna do like fun little Instagram lives and stuff, but um, we're gonna take you to the lab. Let's go. They're gonna give you guys like a full explanation of like their stuff, what they do. We have obviously like very similar values. I feel like you guys would love them. And I feel like I never get to show cool behind the scenes of stuff like this. So I'm like very excited to show you guys. So we're here at the Mob Beauty Lab. This is such a cute little space. We're here in Palm Springs with their team, our team too. And by our team, I mean Adelinda's team because they're not really my team, but yeah, we're gonna do some Instagram lives, share all the things. But yeah, do you guys want to share more about Mob and all the things you're doing? Yeah, so we're Mom Beauty and we're a little bit of a newer brand, just launched in January of 2021, but we're super excited to be here with Adelinda and Natalia because we are all about sustainability. We're celebrating Earth Week, Earth Month, yes, Earth Day. all the things. <laughs> yeah, we're excited to show off our refillable packaging. We're going to talk mm -hmm. about sustainable ingredients and everything in between. Yes. yes. And of course, the high performance color. Like we're gonna be swatching. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Pigment. Absolutely. Really awesome. uh, most mascaras have beeswax. So I would say, right, a lot of mascaras have beeswax. And um, it was really difficult for us to get a formula that was super high performance, like super thickening and volumizing and all the things that we want because you, your mascara has to make your lashes look great, but to do it vegan. So that was one hurdle. But then the other was just to give it that, that fixative, that curl, that hold. Uh, what we've done is we've really pushed the limits and we're using natural polymers. Actually, I have one yes. here. I have one here somewhere else. This is actually a, a natural polymer and it sort of originates from castor oil, but then it's kind of slightly modified. And you can see that this is a, it's a pretty sticky mm -hmm. oil but this is naturally sourced. Yeah. It biodegrades. Um, I don't know if you guys want to feel this. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's, we see this. It's sticky. It's sticky. That's it looks yeah. sticky. But you yeah. see, while you guys are yeah. doing that. So this is one of the things that's hard about mascara is you want it to be water resistant mm -hmm. or waterproof. Now, sometimes you don't want it to be waterproof, especially if you use it mm -hmm. every day because removing a waterproofed material. So that, yeah. that's kind of like you've painted an acrylic paint on your lash and you have to remove it mm -hmm. every day. So it's very harsh. It's not good for you or the environment. And so using something like this um, allows you to have a product that's water resistant and it's easier removed. So that's a challenge. And we don't use silicone either. And that's kind of a, that's a tough one for, for uh, the beauty industry. And I have a perfect example that relates to the fashion world. So if you think of a pair of jeans, 100% cotton, yeah. you know what that feels like. Yeah. You may spin it, the cotton, soften it up a little bit, wash it a little bit, but it's still cotton mm -hmm. and it's hard. You put 5% spandex or lycra in mm -hmm. that jean and it's like a whole maneuver. Oh, totally. It feels better, it lasts longer, it wears better, breathes better, but you've added a synthetic material. That's kind of what silicone does in makeup. You add 5% silicone and it kind of does what spandex does mm -hmm. to, the, to the natural materials. It kind of gives it more stretchability, more water resistance, more of it. But then the silicone, yes. yeah. the silicone doesn't break down. In the fashion world, you know, you've got spandex and light grow. Um, right. It's just not, it doesn't make the material, mm -hmm. it's like you can't break the cotton down and re-spin it. Right. So you have a challenge. You have this, you have a similar challenge. Yeah, totally. Which is what the simulator is mm -hmm. with us. So, you know, taking silicone out is like not, is like making amazing stretchy clothing without spandex or light grow. That's what it's like. That's the dream. That's what it's like. <laughs> Right. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's the challenge. challenge. Totally. So there will be, and there is stuff coming down the line that is just modified yeah. you know, bamboo fibers and, and right. other cotton fibers that they managed to modify to, to have the stretch and the, and the uh, reflex that mm -hmm. the spandex does. And we're doing the same thing, just that we're doing it. That's in, so you know, cool. You're doing it in clothing. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a perfect example. Yeah. So again, you know, short term, it's a challenge, it's a push, but like any new technology or any new innovation, it's hard at the beginning. They cost a little more at the beginning, maybe harder to achieve at the beginning, but once everybody gets on the on the train, it becomes mainstream, mm -hmm. costs less, it's more efficient, it's more effective, and we should get on that train. And it makes yeah. sense, most yeah. of all. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Once it's established, it's like, it makes Why didn't we right? do it sooner? Well, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The aha Absolutely. moment. Hey, because I know you've got sensitive eyes, you can even take your finger and literally just Go, yeah, right on the Just go. This is, we're testing out the, the very first beautiful oh pink. God, wow, I can't on. believe it. It's not oh focusing. My gosh. <gasps> Focus. So cute. There it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so look pretty. Look how good it matches with I know. It's perfect. Oh my God, let's test it. 
How exciting. Oh, Let's go. <laughs> I'm like, I wanna. I don't wanna do it all. No. I already have makeup on there. Do you think I should do it? I think it's fine to go over it. I'm not a makeup pro, but I think it would be fine. I love this feel. I know, it's like creamy. It's so creamy. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Because yeah. right now I don't have cream on. Right. I have the. Uh, Just like powder, powder. type. And yeah. I feel like powder doesn't really last that much. And Honestly, it yeah. Well. Yeah, I love the feel of creamy eyeshadows too. Yeah, it just so. seems like more pigmented and everything. Yeah, oh my gosh, let's let's see. Oh, oh my god, my god. that's so pretty. Oh, it looks what? so good. <gasps> Stop, that looks so good. That just like brightened your eyes yeah, so much. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's almost like I want to Wait, that looks so too. good. Wow, Whoa. that's so pretty. I'm obsessed. Dude, I'm obsessed. I like it matches our pinks perfectly. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait to that. That's so cute. It is amazing. Literally amazing. Look at this. That just brightened her eyes up so much. Like, look how pretty. It's so pretty. Come. Got it. It looks so it's so pretty. And it makes her like blue eyes. Like, That's what I said. I'm like, it makes her eyes pop so much. This is like the color of my like dreams. So Literally. Hello. Yeah. Girl, we just made dreams come true today. <laughs> you guys walked in with your pink. So this is the bubblegum pink eyeshadow that they created literally on the spot because I said bubblegum pink. I was talking about the Flora Top and I was like, oh, that's a bubblegum Flora Top. And then they were like, bubblegum. And then he literally just made this on the spot. It's so cool. I have it on my eyes right now. I don't know how well it, I like put it on there and there. Oh, it's so cool. So that's their entire lab. It literally is so cool. I'm gonna leave them here so you guys can check them out because what the heck. And then this is my palette that they made for my collection, which is also really, really cool. It's been so cool to be here. Literally like, what the heck. I made a whole Instagram live with them, which I'll also leave linked down below if I can, but also just go to my Instagram and check the lives. It's the only live I have saved. So go check it out because we showed like all the behind the scenes of them making the bubblegum pink, which is so freaking cool. Yeah, it's all vegan, clean, sustainable. Um, their packaging is all recyclable and zero waste. They really thought every detail through and it's so freaking cool. So go check them out because what the heck. Hi guys, so it is currently 9.08 p.m. I've been so scattered with this vlog. I'm like trying so hard to vlog, but also there's so much going on and I have just been you know, trying to help where I can. The behind the scenes of like making these events happen is so chaotic and there's so many moving parts and pieces and making sure everything gets in on time. And it's just been really hectic, but everything's been going really well at the same time. We had a fun little beauty event this morning with Mob Beauty, which I hadn't heard of previously, but they do really cool like sustainable clean beauty and we got to go to their labs and kind of see how their makeup is made they explained like their whole process all their you know ethics their sustainability zero waste recyclable stuff compostable packaging all this really cool stuff it was just really cool to be like in the lab and hearing all about it and they did my makeup which was really cool really nice we actually literally made a shade which is on my instagram live i was talking about my collection and i was obviously i'm wearing pink and then carly was wearing one of my tops that's like a bubblegum pink or like that's what i named it was like the bubblegum flora top and the like guy who's like the scientist behind all this he like heard me say bubblegum and he was like oh my gosh we should have a bubblegum pink and he literally just like quickly made one and like i'm wearing it on my eyes right now i don't know if you can see that well at this point but but i got clips of it earlier but yeah so that was really really cool and yeah it was fun to hang out with them they're gonna be there at the show tomorrow and yeah we just did the model fitting came back from that everybody else is out still doing stuff but they brought me back here so that i could rest which i'm very appreciative of because i definitely need my time to like be by myself too because as you guys know i'm very very used to living by myself and being alone and sometimes being like 24 7 with people is very draining for me especially since we have a long day tomorrow we have to be there at the event by 7 7 a.m so we're gonna be waking up early and then tomorrow i'm actually driving back to la after the show too so it's gonna be just a very long day very draining long drive back anyway and just all the things so i'm excited though i think it's gonna be really fun and yeah it's gonna be really great i'm i'm looking forward to it the content's been really great I love being out here. It's so peaceful and relaxing and just so like, I don't know. I love it I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes I feel like it's so hard for me to vlog around people and be like this like I don't want to say like genuine But I I feel like I have to be more on when I'm around people and like not mess up and stuff when I'm talking and it just it's like I don't know I feel so 
pressured to like have to do things perfectly if so many people are watching me but anyway um i'm going to head in the shower and head to bed asap i need to charge all of my cameras make sure everything is ready to go and yeah i'm so tired um but it's been great and i'm excited for tomorrow i think it'll be it'll be really good so yeah that is my update I will catch you guys tomorrow. It's probably gonna be very chaotic, so I don't know how much I'm actually gonna be able to like talk and vlog, but I'll try to get as much behind the scenes as possible. But um, we've had a few hiccups here and there with everything. We've had one model came down with COVID like today, so she's not gonna be there. And I think we're down another model for some other reason. So we have to like rearrange all the looks and who's wearing what and what the order is and all the things. So it's gonna be a very chaotic morning trying to get that all situated. But I think it should be fine. Um, I've been having so much fun just being here with the team. It's been good. Just very, very exhausted, very drained. I'm not used to having to socialize so much all the time. So I, I'm like, I need to recharge for tomorrow. But that is it. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully very awake and hopefully very ready for the day, but we will see. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Este samba é visto de maracatu É samba de preto velho Samba de preto tu Mais que nada O samba como este tão legal Você não vai querer Que eu chegue no 